Welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. My name's Dale. I want to do a comparison between Mitsutoyo and Harbor Freight. I know, you guys are thinking I'm nuts. But really what I'm trying to do is evaluate, is the Mitsutoyo that much better for the price than the Harbor Freight? The real question is, is it worth it for the home machinist? That's what I want to talk about. So I've got two digital gauges. They're both the same accuracy. They both go down to uh, half a ten thousandths of an inch. <laughs> I can't even, I mean, holding these mics changes that much just from the heat that transfers from my hand to these mics. But it's still fun to think that we can actually machine at those levels and be effective. I know I can't. I'm trying to, but I'm, that's far past my skill set. But what I want to do is just really investigate the differences between these and let you guys kind of decide. Now, I'm going to go off onto a pet peeve with Mitsutoyo. I am very frustrated by one thing that Mitsutoyo does. They make the worst boxes possible for anything. The Harbor Freight box, to be honest, is superior to this Mitsutoyo. Most of my Mitsutoyo boxes don't even close. I'm lucky this one does. Very surprised. Just kind of a pet peeve. I wish they would make better boxes. And I am a big Mitsutoyo fan. Some of the differences between these, let me pull them out. Like I said, this is not going to be how to operate these as much as just kind of doing a rough comparison. The question to ask, is the Mitsutoyo better value for the home shop machinist? So the Mitsutoyo has, you know, four buttons. The Harbor Freight has two. Who cares? They're both going to give us great readings. One of the things that the Mitsutoyo has is on the barrel here, we can also take measurements. And if the battery dies, we can still rely on this to take care of us. But it doesn't have an extra vernier scale on here to take it down to ten thousandths. It's only good for one thousandths. One of the things the Harbor Freight is missing is it doesn't have the scale on this barrel. You know, tomato, tomato, whatever you like. What I do like, though, on the Harbor Freight is when you do turn the barrel, it doesn't change position. Where the Mitsutoyo, as you turn it, it goes out just like any other and I have to say, I kind of like this on the Harbor Freight. I like that it just stays in there. The other difference is on this is the ratchet for tightening this up is in a different position than it is on the Mitsutoyo. Now, let's look at the Mitsutoyo. Almost every micrometer that you get, the ratchet is here, and the Mitsutoyo are very smooth, very nice. And that ratchet is designed to control equal pressure down here on the point so you get consistent measurements. On the Harbor Freight, it looks like the ratchet is here, but it's actually this larger one. It seems to have a few more clicks, seems to be a little bit softer, but this whole assembly here is all plastic, and well, it's plastic. <laughs> it would be nice if they made it out of metal, but of course that would raise the price up. This one here sits at about 35 bucks. Let's get down to measuring. What I need to do first is clean the anvil, simply just put a piece of paper in there. And when we're trying to measure half a ten thousandths of an inch, well, anything that's on those anvils, well, will give us a problem. I'm going to pull out 0.102 for a gauge block that we can measure, so you know what I'm after. And let's make a measurement here. Now any oil that's on here is going to give me a false reading, but let's just see how we can do. There we go. So that's reading plus a half a ten thousandths of an inch. That's pretty good. And it's very cold in here today. It's probably about 60 degrees. So who knows what the actual measurement is. Let's go to the Harbor Freight. 
Same thing, we're going to clean it. Zero it out. There we go, the exact same rating. Now something I am liking about this gauge is I like that the ratchet is right here. A lot more convenient than the ratchet on the Mitch Toyo. I have to reach up here and I have to do two hands. This is a one-handed feature. I gotta say guys, that's Having that ratchet there is really nice. So let's take it up to one inch to see if it gives us the same reading. Okay, we're going to put a one inch block in there and see how it does. So it's reading that block right on the money. Couldn't be happier than that. Let's now try the niche toil. Let's bring it all the way out. Wow. <laughs> Look at how much faster that works right there. That's kind of the price of admission. So let's do a measurement here. So it's reading half a ten thousandths off, but it is consistent from the last reading. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. This is a big deal. Look at how fast that spins right there. That's really nice compared to this. That is very, very, very slow. So there you go. Is the Mitsutoyo worth the price of admission? I didn't check these to see how much they are. They're probably about 200 bucks, that's my guess. I know the Harbor Freight is 35 bucks. It's up to you guys. You know, there's some nice features on both of them. The Mitsutoyo has a, an additional scale here, the Harbor Freight doesn't. I like where the ratchet is on the Harbor Freight, fantastic. But the speed of the Mitsutoyo, <laughs> well, I'll let you guys decide. You know, leave me some comments, tell me which one you like. Also give me some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to subscribe. There's a lot more videos to come. All right, guys, till next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.